was not involved in his family's business dealings and that he did not benefit from illicit business deals. However, IRS Special Agent Joe Ziegler provided documents to the Ways and Means Committee, 327 emails, many of which involve Hunter Biden and Hunter Biden's business associates. Mr. Bobolinsky, do you have any personal experience that leads you to believe that Joe Biden was involved with Hunter Biden's business associates and business dealings? Yes, I do. You want to say a few? It, uh, to outline how Joe was involved? Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, different congressmen and women uh, keep trying to say that there's no evidence and use the word involved, um, it, which is a very opaque language. If Joe Biden was not involved in his son's business dealings, why, after flying all the way across the country to the Milken Conference, where there is next to Davos is probably the biggest conference in the world. Why would he take 45 minutes out of his night? It wasn't a 10 a.m. meeting. It was 1040 in the evening. He's an elderly man, flew all the way across country to sit with me for 45 minutes to an hour to discuss my background, the business we are doing with the Chinese, his family's background. Speaking of the business with the Chinese, in October 2020, Joe Biden asserted that his family had not earned money through business dealings in China. However, IRS whistleblowers shared evidence that the Biden family made at least $1.1 million from their business with China, including $100,000 in payment from CFC, China Energy, and a $1 million payment in exchange for legal services that were never provided to a CFC official, Patrick Ho. Mr. Bobolinsky, do you know whether the Biden family made any money from China? They did. Millions of dollars. I think approximately eight to nine million. The Biden family has made millions of dollars from China, correct? Correct. And you said at least nine million? Yeah, I think it's actually over 10 million, but I'll leave those uh, details up to you guys. Tony Bobolinsky's claim regarding financial dealings within the Joe Biden family, notably its alleged ties to China and the substantial sums involved, has stirred significant debate. Rep. Sir Jason Smith's exchange with Bobolinsky is viewed as touching upon fundamental issues of truth, but authenticity and moral obligation within the realm of politics. Bobolinsky's testimony is scrutinized as potential evidence of corruption or unethical conduct within the Biden family, aligning with conservative narratives surrounding governmental accountability and the conduct of political elites. His assertions hint at a broader erosion of trust in public institutions and a growing unease regarding the authenticity of politicians irrespective of their ideological affiliations. Through Smith's probing inquiries, larger questions emerge concerning the integrity and accountability essential for democratic governance, shedding light on the ramifications of deceit and dishonesty. For societal cohesion and trust, Smith's line of questioning underscores democratic anxieties surrounding transparency, honesty, and the integrity of political leaders particularly concerning financial matters and potential conflicts of interest. Ultimately, Bobolinsky's testimony reflects broader democratic anxieties about political malfeasance and the waning confidence in public institutions, particularly among the political establishment. 